How's everyone doing? Yeah. Got, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for a, a stunning shh. I'm talking. I just got here, man. Are we good? I was about to start. Okay. Thought I'd start off with a little style. Thank you. Thank you. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Submitted for your approval, a man standing on a stage in front of a night gallery of rogues. His mission, oh, I missed, an, I missed an opportunity. I, it could have been, put it back, put it back. It could have been so much better. I mean, a mission would have been so much better, right? Because I would have been like, oh. stage, the final theatrical <laughs> frontier. These are the shenanigans of our variety show. It's continuing almost five years now. Mission is to seek out new comedy, usually, <laughs> to find new acts, to boldly go where Cabaret has no business going without a large number of lawyers tonight. <laughs> the whole thing needs some help. It needs a doctor, right? It needs like a... That's from a toilet paper thing. <laughs> but I love that moment, that moment where you're like, yeah, he's got to... What if he... That's what this entire night is about. There's a lot of ways to look at things, but, you know, something changed in the course of my lifetime. When I, when I started out, nerd was a four-letter word, and now it's like a ten-figure industry. <laughs> and it, it amazes me how it's changed. But the thing I remember most is how it taught me to say, what if? I mean, there's, there's two types of what ifs. There's the what if that's like, that windmill might be a giant. That's crazy talk. It's also classical literature, which for some reason, we have this problem in our culture that we can't combine that with, with the speculative stuff that we're talking about. But you get the idea. I'm talking about the, what if bread mold might be medicine? Or what if the reason we're not living in the future is we just haven't built it yet? You know, I started out, I, I didn't have a lot, like tonight, I got a lot of friends. I didn't start out this way. I started out watching late night TV on Saturday night when I was a teenager. I, I used to watch British imports because I didn't have plans on Saturday night. And uh, that's where I learned about using my brain and my, my human heart instead of two in a, in a gun. You know, I, 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 learned, I learned how to do, you know, use this and how that could champion over all the BS. I learned a lot of really good stuff from science fiction and I think it's easy to, we're gonna tell probably every bad joke you can imagine tonight. And I want to, yeah, that one too. <laughs> and I was about to get to that. Uh, Lucas Spielberg, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> but we are going to take your stuff and drag it so far through the mud, you may not recognize it when we're done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your what ifs, your what could be's, and most of all, your open stage. Thank you and welcome. Yeah.